What's up guys, it's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing here on the Alpha Tribe server with Extinction Core, baby. So excited, doing flips. Man, oh man, guys, thank you so very much for coming, hanging out, joining me on the adventures. As you always do, please remember, Show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness. Man, oh man, speaking of awesome. Last episode, we got the most amazing and awesome Pteranodon. We got an alpha one. Super sweet, huge upgrade from the last one. Now our second alpha will be the creature's name today too. So I hope you guys left some epic name suggestions down below in the last episode anyway today we're talking about we wanted to hopefully be able to find and tame a therizinosaur it will help us out so very much with uh gathering all the special prime resources needed for extinction core so it should be pretty cool we'll go out on the hunt one issue though one thing that might hold us back as you may remember um i talked about extinction core it's an older mod it's an older mod, so it's not on the new kibble system yet. My goodness, this rock every time. Go away, rock. Um, it's not in the new kibble system. So we have this old kibble vending machine, but it took the Megalosaurus kibble. And um, yeah, it's not in this machine because this machine is even older. It hasn't been updated since Megalosaurus have been added in to the game. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. We have to hope that it will... I don't, I don't know. Hope that we'll feed off of something other than kibble. We'll do our best. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I think today should be a pretty epic day. Um, also, Froggy Man wasn't around with us. Um, yesterday, he had a bunch of problems at home, and he wasn't able to record. So he doesn't have an Alpha Pteranodon like us. In fact, the episode before that of his, he lost his normal Pteranodon. So I'm not sure if he has any type of flyer. So I wanted to help my buddy bro froggy man out to be able to get a flyer today so why don't we we maybe kick things off with that helping him out see what he wants to get and yeah then we can go find our therizinosaur so sounds like a plan let's go meet up the froggy man what's up froggy man how you doing today oh amazing as always D Mac. nice so i heard you want to get a flyer today yeah because i got all my stuff killed oh what you thinking of uh, oh, a vulture. Oh, a prime vulture? Yeah. I think Dude, I that'll is. be epic. Right? You want some help? I think so. Yeah, I think I need some help because if you were around, you missed it. I, it took me a long time to replace the one dino you helped me get. <laughs> Not right. a problem, Froggy. That's what we're always here for. Alpha, tri alpha Tribe awesome. helping each other. All right. Did Ooh. you get one uh, tracked down yet? I did. It's over here. It's right here in the desert, straight ahead. Oh, straight ahead. All right, Froggy. Did you find him? Yeah, he's right up here in the cliff. Watch, oh, follow perfect. me. Perfect. And honestly, I'm glad you're here because there's a lot of baddies up by this vulture. <laughs> oh, is look that him right there? Yeah, yeah, but look at all, all right. the bad I'll, I'll clear out the badness. Ooh, don't hit the oh. vulture by mistake, though. I'm in a rock. I'm talking to myself. All right, so far so good. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, so far so good. Um, ooh, you're getting attacked, dude. Yeah, I know, and the vulture's following you, so all I right, need to... All right, perfect. Oh, so... he's following me. Um, Hold on, I'll get him switched off again. Yeah, so I get on my other thing. Yep. Oh, there he goes, okay. All right, here we go. I'm parked. I'm okay, just gonna sit here and take the punishment. Okay, there we go. Pick you up. And get on here. All right, ready? Yup, I'm ready. Ooh, okay, I'm running up. You got here this, go. Froggy. Do, do, do. Area okay. still looks pretty clear. Nice, except for the fact oh. I... Did that hit me too? Uh, no. I didn't take like Torpor, so... Nice. You're doing good. There we go. All right, it's rising. Keep on going. He's safe. He's good. All right, now he's starting to run. Oh, oh, you can do it, Froggy. One more, one more. 
Oh, he's down. Yeah. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you got RG kibble, I hope. Oh, uh, wait, what? What? R RG kibble? Yep, that's what uh, he takes. RG uh, kibble. Okay. Um, can you watch him for just a yeah, half? I'll second? watch him. I'll watch him. Okay, okay, okay. You watch him. Um, I'll be right back. All right, Froggy, what you got? Oh, I got some Zeno kibble. Oh, Zeno kibble. Yeah, I get fancy. Oh, that's even better than RG kibble. It is. Three, Ooh, get four. All right, make sure you didn't put in more than five. Bam. Nope. Exactly your mouth. Yeah. Perfect. Eight oh nine. What a tame, dude. What a oh, tame. Yeah. It is. It is. All right, make oh, sure he's man. unfollowing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't, don't. I'm going to ride him right now because I don't think he takes a saddle. Oh, epic, dude. Don't forget your Dillo. Takes a costume, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, let me do this. And then I'm going to do this. Are right, you ready to go? We'll go get yours. Mm-hmm. Perfect. All right, Froggy. I found a nice, juicy Therizinosaur just right down here. Oh, nice. I want to see if you can pick him up now with your Vulture. All right. This would be huge if you could do that. All right, here we go. I got him. Yes. All right, all right. Come on right up here. Okay. And just kind of hover in a position that's decent, and I am just going to shoot him. I like this. Yeah, perfect, Froggy. Perfect. All right. All right. Oh, dude, this guy's going down quick. All right, and there we go. boom, down. Yeah. Epic. All right. So, we do not have a herbivore tree. It does take Xeno Kibble, um, or Megaloceros Kibble, or Veggies. Um, I actually do have some Xeno Kibble. Uh, so do I too, and I got Veggies. Do you do you have Xeno Kibble on you on you? Ah, uh, no, it's back at the base. All right, all right. Just watch this guy. His torpor. Right. I'm not sure if it how quickly it falls. It doesn't fall that quick. All right, just stay nah. right there, Froggy, and watch him. I'll be right back with the move. Xeno Kibble. All right, let's see. Spawn base. I don't know if my train is going to come with me. Hopefully it stays. Nope, it stayed. And no, it came. <laughs> oh, yeah. It lags gone. out a little bit. That's okay. For a that second, I was like, oh, look, it's Okay. Staying. It's looking good? Oh, yeah. Dude, that oh, yeah. vulture yeah. was key, dude. That's so perfect that you had that. Oh, it's going to make it easy for tame some of the starter stuff to get us going. Oh, yeah. So me and Froggy, we actually tried doing an Alpha Therizino, but we were having issues with it. It takes golden eggs or the herbivore tree or the kibble that we don't have. So super sad face, but this will work out just fine, Froggy. Oh, that was weird. What's going on? My my uh, vulture decided it was time to lay down. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we go. got it, Froggy. We got it. Nice. Oh, this is so perfect. Awesome, dude. Oh man, you're gonna get so much good stuff. I hope so. I hope. I think it should be good. Therizinosaur is definitely something you want early on in Extinction Core. It'll oh, save you great. hours of time. Anyway, dude, um, thanks for the help, and I hope you enjoy your new vulture. No, thank you for the help, and I will. All right, D-Mac, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, later, buddy bro. All right, guys, just like that, we are back at the base. Super thrilled about this. Yeah, we got our Therizinosaur. It's kind of ugly, so I repainted him to kind of look like an alpha, and it looked gorgeous. I got a saddle made up, pumped up the 325 armor super duper epic and let's go on out and try this guy so once again the purpose of this is in hopes that we're going to be able to get more prime hide more prime keratin and things like that so it should be pretty cool as well as being able to harvest stuff more and better so bam now the c move is the important move that's what we got to boost up and i believe that's boosted through the delicates yeah that that should be what it's done through so on that note let's try this guy out all right not bad to boot 561 that is not bad at all um let's boost it up though this guy is attacking me it's not doing that much for damage let's also get our health up 
can we get up to all right we're at a hundred thousand now beautiful let's put the rest into that melee awesome let's see what we hit for now come here bro wow six thousand already that is not bad bro that is not bad let's see about this hit wow six thousand and this should get see it got hide oh this is perfect so hopefully it works on the prime resources we will have to find out but in any case let's uh i think he's good enough we're at a hundred thousand health so we should hopefully be able to go into scarier areas with him so let's kind of scout out let's see if we can find some stuff that would have the prime ooh 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 whenever we see tribesmen i gotta go after them because they drop kibble and we have the possibility of getting some of the kibbles that we can't make in the kibble machine not to mention they're just kind of an overall menace that we do not want hanging out around the server all right awesome we got another guy don't bowl on me all right beautiful Ooh, ooh, come here mr piggy got you bro got you look at this little copy right here what do you think you're doing bro I really wish these pteranodons could walk backwards. Quite annoying. All right, are we cleared out? Is it safe? Yeah, it's safe. All right, let's go find some either prime dodos or an alpha. Your normal dodo. Come on, where's the prime dodos at? I know we got them through the wazoo over here. We got a turkey. That's kind of cool. Let me get the turkey. Bam! They usually drop good stuff, more or less. Got an experience potion from him. All right, this is so weird. There's normally so many prime dodos and of course there's none right now. I do see an alpha though. All right, hold on. Let's just get, take care of these capros. Don't dismount me, bro. Don't dismount me. Oh, there's an alpha capro. All right, let me see if I can snag him. Now, the Therizino, I don't know that I'm using them necessarily for, like, the kills. But, oh, don't harvest the body of that guy, please. All right, he's not done yet. All right, we got the Alpha. Hopefully, this other Sarko doesn't... No, no, don't harvest him. Crap, you are such a little turd nugget. Stealing our stuff. All right, there was an Alpha Capro. I don't know where the crap he went. Oh, Wells, moving on. We'll find something good. We will find something to test this guy out on. Um, it'll also be amazing for getting a lot more rare mushrooms, rare flowers, as well as different types of seeds. Definitely be amazing for that. All right. Alphas, come on, bro. They're so few and far between. Ooh, look at this guy. That's an Archaeopteryx, maybe? No, Microraptor. I think that was a prime one. That, my, ooh, ooh, and there's a prime uh, Manti down here. All right, let's get this Mantis out. All right, awesome. This will be perfect for our test. All right, let's toss the Therizino out. Awesome. And do you have more levels, bro? All right, he does have some more levels. No, he doesn't. You don't. Let's see if we can put some stuff into delicates. So view harvesting levels available and we want to add delicate. Nice. I actually had to mind wipe this guy once because I went and did it backwards and I did it into the power. It's supposed to be into the delicate. So I'm able to redo my points now into the delicate where we want them. All right, we should get so what do we get from this guy? It would be Keratin Chitin. So we should get it up the wazoo if this works. All right, come on. If you do the normal left click, it will get some, but I don't believe it's going to be a boosted amount. And the delicates would affect, the, uh, for the moves on this guy, it would affect this move, and then it should affect this move. And then the power move is the left click, for just, just to refresh you on the Therizinosaur. All right, so we want to do C. 393 Prime Chitin. That is what's up. Holy cow, this is an MVP guy. Holy, this is so game-changing, guys. You have no idea. 
Remember yesterday when we were going for the saddle? I'd get like between like 8 and 15 Prime Chitin from an Alpha. Now, that is unbelievable how much we're going to get. It's just crazy town. Ooh, you're getting so close to max attack in this guy. All right. Five more levels. Five more. All right, let's go hunt out some more guys that we can harvest. We can see why, you know, a lot of people are like, there is Xenosaur. Why do you care about that, DMAC? But you can see how important that is. It is redunculous. Where are we at? What was I going after? Why is your music right now? Who's attacking me? Oh, do you want me, bro? Whoa! Flamethrower, dude! Holy crap, I didn't see him there. He blended the crap in. Got you! Holy crap, he flamethrowered me. That is not cool, bro. That is not cool. All right, let's see if there's any bags over here from him. Not to seeing any. Oh, those tribesmen, though. Those guys are brutal. I does kind of look like an alpha over here. That might have been my glow I saw from the distance. All right, moving on. Moving on. Wowzers. Oh, here's more tribe guys. Oh, got you, bro. Gallimimus kibble. That's pretty cool. Is there more of your tribe? Oh, there's another tribe guy. Holy crap. Got you, bro. Got you. Nice. Titan boa kibble. That's a hard kibble to get. All right. Doing pretty good. Can we find an alpha, though? I want to harvest. Ooh, look at that. Holy crap. All right. Let's put our levels up. Oh, we need to get to... Who's hitting me, bro? Dang. All right, look at that. That's super rare. That is an Omega Megapithecus. We got to stay away from that. That's like way, way further into the game. That's a pretty rare spawn. That's cool to even lay eyes on it. Super crazy looking. All right, we got to have an... There we go. What level are you, bro? 40. Dude, these ants are on me. What do I got? Some peanut butter on my butt or something you're coming after? All right, let's get this guy. Come on, bro. Bam. All right, how we doing? I should be able to just sit over on top of him, more or less. All right, come on, bro. What do you got left? All right, he's almost done. Got you. All right, perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. They're going to eat him. Turd nuggets. Oh, this is the one thing. When there's when there's toughy kills, when there's other stuff starting to come in, I got to just harvest them and say, cut my losses, because we got nothing from that. Drives me nuts. Drives me totally nuts. All right, we got another alpha over here. Let's clear out the area first of baddies this time. All right. Ooh, that is, I think, a prime titan boa. That's something we're going to want. It says it's a passive tame. All right, you go ahead and get that wolf while I clear out these snaky snakes. And you know what? Let's just get on our Therizino right away. I think that we'll be good enough to do that. All right, while they're going crazy, let's get our melee up. All right, 300. Start to work on movement speed. All right, who's attacking me, bro? Get out of here, you dumb wolves. Holy crap, they are pushing me. All right, golden. Golden, golden. All right, so that is what we want right there. Let's dump all the rest of this stuff that we don't need. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead and do another melee. And let's come on in and get this guy. Almost done. Yeah, look at that. We do torpor to him too. Isn't that cool? All right, almost done. Almost done. And... Bammy, 127 prime hide we got from that. Wow. That is so good. Oh, that is so good. This is going to make everything so much easier. Goodness. But weight on this guy is rough. Super duper rough. But we're doing it. We are doing it. Awesome. So, on that note, this guy's working out pretty gosh darn well. I'm going to want to level him up and get those delicates up as high as we can to completely max out. I mean, who knows? We might even be getting in the thousands 
for that. So that should be pretty cool. Anyway, let's see what else we want to do today. All right, guys, we got a good bit of time left. So for the rest of the episode, I, I, I'd like to try and find a good place to live on the map because I don't want to live at our starter area forever. But before that, we got to get more teleporters going. We were completely out of electronics. So I think we need to do this whole thing with the trilobites again, but it should hopefully be way better with the Therizinosaur. Ooh, and actually, look at this. We got a bone trike over here. Yeah, all right, let's try this guy. I'm really curious to see how much we'll harvest from him. It's kind of in a bad spot. All right, come on, bro. This guy, Does this guy summon in dodos? Is that how that works? Oh, crap. I'm seeing zombie dodos there. Uh. Oh, I think that is how that works. I always thought the zombie dodos spawned separately, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. These guys actually summon them in. All right. We got that guy done. Hopefully the zombie dodos don't harvest the body, which it doesn't look like it is. All right. Sweet. Let's pop on off. Let's go on to our Therizinosaur. Oh, I can't wait to see what we get for resources. All right. Is it still there? All right, it is still there. If they attack me, though, they're going to harvest it by mistake. Oh, man. All right, we got to hop in. We got to just go down and just spam C. Oh, come on, bro. All right, C, C, C. Yes. Oh, man, that only gave us 32 that time. That was, we had kind of robbed there. Interesting, though. All right. So moving on, we got to find trilobites. So I'm going to kind of just run along the shore, see if we can find any. Hopefully some will pop up. There's so many the other day, but they might have been more like on the ocean side. So I guess I'll meet you guys over there. And it is me. Man, I'm getting levels galore lately. It's getting to where I don't even know where to pump them. I got most of the stats where I want. I already have 255 levels into my health. So I don't, I think on a player, you don't want to go beyond that as well. Where you can start to have problems. I'm not sure, but I don't want to find out. Anywho, let's continue on. We'll come back in once I find the trilobites. All right, guys, we got trilobites just right over here. Oh, so perfect. All right, come on, buddy, bro. Let's go find out if we get more silica pearls and shenanigans. I'm not even sure what we'd want to use for harvesting. We'll try each of the different moves. It's so normal attack. We got to kill them first and then harvest them because they kind of jump backwards. All right, come on, bro. All right, so let's do the left click attack on this one. 29 silica pearls, not bad. Um, Let's try the C on this one. All right, that just got straight chitin. Let's try the right click. Mostly chitin and oil, so it seems like you got to do the left click if we want to get them. All right, let's try and push these guys more towards the shore. Yeah, 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 that is definitely the way to do it. All right, sweet. It's kind of weird. Um, I was testing out on dodos, and it seemed as if the prime dodos you got to do the normal, the, the double swipe attack, the left click if you want to get prime stuff. Whereas from the alphas, you clearly, the C is the way to go. So you kind of got to test it all out to figure out what's best. But for the most part, this is pretty good. Um, We just need enough for 50 electronics so we can make one new teleporter. All right, I found the jackpot of trilobites. Yup, found the jackpot. So good, but it's still a rare drop, the Silica Pearls. So I don't even get it guaranteed every time, but it does feel like I'm getting more using the Therizinosaur. It, maybe it's just in my head, but it does definitely feel like I'm getting a lot more. So cool. Very cool. I'm starting to get pretty full on my weight. So I'm not going to get too many more. All right. Nice. Awesome, we are doing amazing. 
Yeah, so this is right over by that area where those barrels are that you get cementing paste at. And by the way, those barrels, if you hit them with this guy, you get way more, which is awesome, super duper awesome. Getting tons of oil, another resource that we definitely are in need of. Let's just start to dump out because we are getting so incredibly full. What's up with the silica pearls not stacking? Or the, uh, where did they go? Huh? Oh, look at that. I had a whole bunch of stuff on my player, which is definitely weighing me down. That's not cool. Dump, 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 dump. All right, cool. All right, that helps a lot with the weight. All right, let's get the rest of these guys. Nice! Yeah, we're gonna be, have enough to make probably a couple of teleporters after this harvest session. Man, this Therizino, I'm telling you, it is just the most important thing yet. After the Pteranodon, probably. Oh my goodness, just resources for days. I can't even imagine, like, this is really saving me. Like, every single kill, it's like... I don't know, the equivalent of doing like 10 or 20 kills, maybe even more than that. Such a lifesaver. All right, let's just get these last few ones on the shore. Oh man, they keep on coming in. I, I hate to leave any of them. All right, that is weighing me down, bro. Big time. Yeah, once we get an alpha one, it's gonna be so much better because we're not gonna have to worry about the carry weight and the speed. But this is definitely a good starter. Definitely. All right. I think we got everything of greater importance. This is the last one, I promise. And got you. Beautiful. All right. Let's head back to the base. Let's make some teleporters. All right, guys. Got the teleporters all made up. I got two of them that I can set around. And I'm out in the hunt looking for a place to live. I came across this super funky little place um this map is definitely it's it's not finished yet it's still a work in progress so this is absolutely gonna be something at some point but i always love pre like unfinished maps that have these weird and bizarre super flat areas so i mean i'm gonna be honest with you um i'm gonna have to talk to the the map maker to find out when uh, when about this this area is gonna be done. I know it's not the prettiest, but I mean having a Super flat area like this is kind of priceless for building You know just everything will line up perfectly and it is an island and there is spawns on here and they're kind of nasty spawns desert spawns, but It seems like it's just on the edges. You know, we could easily put up walls So that's a possibility that is, I, I think the area is pretty cool. And let me just show you where it is on the map. It's like way up in the upper right hand corner. So it's not even like designated or shown what it is. So that's kind of cool. Um, this map definitely has a huge desert. I'm, I'm going along the edge of the desert now. And I mean, just look at how large this is. It's ginormous. Um, deserts usually are not the best place to live just because a lot of badness spawns in them. But, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, just look at this. So much of the map is desert, and that looks like it's just open desert, too. Some more stuff might actually pop in, but you can almost see to the edge of the map. So, real lot of desert. It's It almost feels like half the map is desert. I mean, let me just see, looking at this. Okay, it's nowhere close to half, but it's like a good third of the map almost. But as you can see, we haven't even unlocked half of the map yet to see what's around. So anyway, I'm gonna keep on exploring and I'm just looking for big flat areas like that. Um, there is some in the deserts. Right here is actually kind of nice, but again, it's kind of bordering that nasty biome. But yeah, right here is a pretty awesome spot, too. I mean, this is super flat. Ooh, look at you, bro. I don't have my theory with me, but I'll get you. It's a little low-level one, so why not? Why not? All right, carrying on this way. Um, And also, another thing we want to look out for is what type of resources are close by. I mean, again, with teleporters, it's not the end of the world, but what the crap is that? 
says it's some some type of Tyrannosaurus. It's like invisible though. That's scary. All right. This little spot here is kind of cool. Tons of metal here, tons of crystal here, tons of obsidian, and I bet once you clear it out, kind of nasty spawns, kind of ugly colored too, but big flat area, definitely could work. This is looking even more promising right here. Look at this. Let's see how flat it stays as we fly over. Oh, this is a gorgeous little spot right here, right on the edge. Um, looks like the mantis can spawn here, so that's kind of sketchy, but that's kind of pretty. That is kind of pretty. It's real close to an obelisk, which is always convenient. A lot of badness spawning here, though. It's the red obby. Very cool, and definitely water pen potential. So that's pretty cool. It's nice that it's only me and Froggy playing on the server, so we can kind of hog super awesome spots like that. Look at all the spawns, though. All right, coming in over here. Also, ooh, look at that beautiful Pteranodon right there. Um, Kind of cool. There's a lot of cool spots in this map. This place is quite beautiful. I bet you if you cleared off a lot of that mountain, would probably, there's lots of crystal there. Probably be a really flat area. Another potential awesome water pen. Ooh, let me just see what this does right here. Kind of opens up. Wow, this is really cool, too. Look at that. Is that a cave right there? I think that's a cave. Yeah, pretty sure that's a cave. This is pretty cool area as well. I mean, this is what I'm saying. It's almost like there's too many spots to choose. So another potential awesome area. Lots of big, flat mountaintops. Oh, I can already tell. I love this map maker. This is gorgeous. Wow, look at this thing. That's super cool. And this is pretty flat right here, too. Let's just see what spawns over here. Wow, it's kind of janky land here. But it's pretty flat. Let's just see. Wow. What the crap? Dude, there's so much here. This is a lot bigger map than I thought it was. Look at this area, nice big field. Lots of rocks to clear out, but nice big field. Look at this thing, look at this place. Whoa, this is awesome. Holy crap, that's a basilisk. Oh, that's scary. I don't even know, guys. You know what? I thought we'd be able to just lickety-split, easily be like, oh, this is where I want to live. But there's so many good spots on this map. I can't believe I haven't tried this map before. I'd never even heard of it before this season. Look at that really cool zigzagging up that mountain right over there. See it just right over there? Look at that. That's really cool in this ice area. Let's just have a quick peek see in here. Tons of like castles. It almost reminds me of like Game of Thrones in the wall right here. Seriously, and then like all the little outposts. This is super cool, guys. Let's just peek in. We gotta be careful because there's a lot of wyverns over here. This is super nifty. Look at this. That is super cool. Wow, and then look at this area. It's like a mushroom bog kind of aberration-y area, maybe? Yup, that's what it looks like, aberration over here. Dude, this thing has like everything. Wow, and that's a beautiful ice lake there. Goes into aberration forests. Wow, this is gonna take a while, guys. I think we should kind of call it here because I'm gonna have to do a lot of exploring, way more than I thought. Oh man, but this, I'm pumped. This is very exciting to have like so many cool areas. My goodness, now it's gonna, in extinction, there's a lot of badness that can spawn. So I also gotta be very careful that I don't go in a place that, you know, gets like Megapithecus spawning all the time and whatnot. But hey, I think we're making strides, really moving along now with our creatures. We're doing well this season. 
Anyway, let me go through those comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments, and yes, it is that time. That's right, time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode, and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right, just remember, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen, you gotta be a subscriber, so smash that subscribe button, and you gotta comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have our Alpha Pteranodon 2 name, and you guys have been asking this name for every single Pteranodon we've tamed thus far, but I'm finally going to give it now that we have an Alpha. It is none other than Twister. That's right, our throwback name that we use so many seasons for our main Pteranodon. So, yeah, very soon, very soon. For next episode, we gotta come up with a name for a new Therizinosaur, so make sure to leave those comment suggestions down below. But anyway, guys, thank you oh so much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc Awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again, and peace out.